All right, we're looking at rate of change in slope. So what we have here is, so let's find the, uh, the rate of change for each line. So what I'm looking at here is I got all these different lines. I got to find the slope for each line. So we'll just go one at a time. We'll just go ahead and go in alphabetic order. So we'll start with line A. So what you have to do is find two points on A, right? And you look at your delta X and your delta Y. How much is it going in the X direction? And how much is it going? So this one is going one and one. So I would say the slope of A Remember, the y, the up and down goes on top, so it's going to be 1 over 1, or just 1. Let's look at B here. Here's line B right here, so I'm going to find, they already have a triangle for me. I'm going to see if I can darken it in a little bit. So this looks like it goes 1 right here, and then 1, 2, 3, 3 spaces up. So the slope of B Remember, the y, the up or down, goes on top. It's delta y over delta x. Okay. Line C, they also drew in some triangles. Let me darken that up again. And so this one goes 2 to the right and up 1. So the slope of line C is 1 over 2. And then here's line D down here. Got a triangle. So this like goes down two spaces and one, two, three, four, five spaces to the right. So the up or down vertical goes on top. All right, there you go. Let's go on to the next one. So the next one we're going to match. So they have all the lines. We just got to um, match the slopes with the particular line. So let's just go one at a time and we'll figure this out. All right, here's line A. All right, so this is a 1 and a 2, right? So that slope is 2 over 1 or just 2. So this is line A. Put an A next to that one. Line B here's got two points. So here's this is 1, 2 going this way and then 1, 2, 3 going that way. So this one goes up one, two, three, and to the right two. So the slope of that one is three over two. Oh, that's B right here. Okay. Let's look at line C, which is right here. So line C, if I can pick two points on C. This goes one, two, three to the right, and then up two. So the two would go on top. All right, so this is line C. Okay. And then line D, which is right here. Let's see if I can kind of clear the space up a little bit. So I got a point right here and another one there. So I'm going to remember, go left to right. So this is, I start on this side and go this way. So I'm going to go down one. And then one, two, three, four, five to the right. So this one goes on top. So that's negative one over five. So this one is D. Okay. Uh, let's look at line E. Line E looks like it goes straight across this way, right? So E has no vertical change. Okay. So the up and down is zero over any number. It really doesn't matter. Let's just make one up. Let's say it goes over two spaces. That's going to be zero. So this is E. It's a horizontal line. There is no change in that line, right? Zero change. Um, okay. And it looks like we had a couple of uh, distractor lines in there. All right. Let's go to the next example. So now we have some given information and we are going to graph it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put an, put an axis on this graph here. Okay. So it says a line that goes up three 
each time it goes over five. So it doesn't really matter where I put it. So if I put a point right here, okay, it's gonna go up three, one, two, three, and, just, and then over five. One, two, three, four, and five, okay. Probably didn't really need the axis in here, just putting points on here. All right, so then a line that has a delta x of four and a delta y of negative six. So this is a down and this is a right. All right, so um, I'll just put it right here. So we're gonna go down six, put a point there, down six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then the right four, one, two, three, and four. So this would be line A. This is line B. Okay. Then it says a line where delta Y equals delta X. So it doesn't matter which one's which. They just need to be the same. So I'll just make it easy and do one and one. I'll make them both equal one. Right. So if I pick a point right here. Um, delta Y is 1, Delta X is 1, so I'm going to go up 1 and to the right 1. And there you go. Okay. And then question D says a line that has a Y of 3 and a Delta X of 0. So I'll do that one over here. So Y of 3, 1, 2, 3, and then it doesn't go right or left. Okay, it doesn't have any delta x, so it's just going to be a vertical line. Okay. Then last question in this lesson, it says, draw a line that has a delta y of zero. How can you describe the line? So what they're saying is I have a slope, right? I got delta y over delta x. And they're not telling me what the x is. They're just saying the y is 0. Okay, the y is 0. So I'm just going to put it over a number. I'll put it over 2. So I'm going to come. I'll just graph on anywhere. So I'm going to pick a point. And this tells me I do not go up or down, but I do go to the right. Okay. So I go to the right 2, and then I don't go up or down. I don't go up or down. So I end up with a horizontal line, right? Okay, so when delta y is zero, it gives me a horizontal line. Okay, now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look at this and it says draw when you have a delta x. So now I'm just going to switch the numbers around. Okay, I'm going to make this a zero and that a two. So I'll just graph it right here. So I go up two and I don't go to the right or left at all. All right, so when delta x is zero, it doesn't go to the left or right, and that is a vertical line. So this is when delta x equals zero, equal sign in there, sorry. And this is when delta y equals zero.